Hey YouTubers, good morning, Rob Moffitt. Guys, a couple weeks ago I did a video concerning this material, polyplastic. I fixed this stethoscope and I thought it was pretty cool material I'd never used it before. And I said, I ought to make a lure out of this. Maybe a sheephead lure, a crab lure. That's what I did. This is my very first crab lure I've ever done. It's kind of different than all the other crab lures I've ever seen, is that it has a compartment in the bottom. You can add bait. Whatever the fish will be eating, uh, you could add barnacles, shrimp, oyster, clam, a fish, or crab. <laughs> Preferably, if you could get crab, I guess. Um, that way it's going to smell like something fish would want to eat. Um, this is made from a little snap cap thing I bought on uh, eBay or Amazon, I forget which. I was initially going to make them out of bottle caps, and I still think I may make some, because they're about the right size for a tiny fiddler crab. What I'm doing is I'm using the poly plastic to make the the uh, the claws, and I was going to use bread wrappers for the legs, but I couldn't find any, so I'm using some pipe cleaner. Which pipe cleaner is good because you can put a fish attract, a liquid fish attract, on there, and it would hold rather well. But since we're already going to be having a fish attractant inside the compartment, um, it's not necessary. And I just wanted to play around with different colors and I could paint these where I can't paint the pipe cleaner very well. Now the hook comes into the top and I sealed it on the inside with some polyplastic. However, it does kind of swivel from side to side, so that's a flaw. The, the claws can be moved up and down, left or right. The, the weight is good, you can add more weight. The problem I'm having is twofold. One, when it, it lands in the water, it doesn't sink like a, a normal crab would. It, it goes uh, upside down or on the side or, or whatever. And it's uh, it's kind of big. It's uh, Also, this is the first one I've ever done. The design, this doesn't look like a fiddler crab. And the fiddler crab usually have the eyes on top. This looks like something you'd find on a crab in a uh, nuclear power plant in Japan. <laughs> Yeah, it does. But I'm also happy, though, the way the coloring is working out. Although you won't necessarily find a crab with this color. It's just an experiment to see what I could do with simple Sharpie Magic markers. You can also add a Sharpie Magic marker to the polyplastic and, and squeeze it around, and then the color becomes embedded inside the plastic. Um, also, polyplastic has coloring agents you can purchase if you just want to color them that way, too. But... I need to experiment with some weights and see if I can get it to inflows to see if I can get it to, to uh, sink evenly. Also I want to reduce the size. I'll have to do that by either just using the bottle caps and making the claws much smaller or I, I come up with, I've come up with a way I think I can reduce the top quite a bit. Um, so what I might do is if I can get it to work, the main thing is to the fish like it. It's like that company that spent millions of dollars on making a new dog food and they were having a hard time selling it and finally they, they asked somebody, what, why isn't this working? And, and they said, well, the dogs don't like it. <laughs> if the fish don't like it, it doesn't matter how well you make your crab lure. Uh, that's the most important thing. But I think this is a good first start. Um, like I said, I've not seen anybody else with a lure that has a, a compartment you can actually put bait inside of it. There are lures you can you can add uh, liquids on the side and so on. Years ago, like like maybe maybe seventy years ago, I saw a lure that was from that time period. Um, it was a, a glass tube, and they put a shrimp inside it. <laughs> Other than that, I've never seen another lure that you can open up and put bait inside of it. So it's kind of cool, having fun. This, like I said, I think I'll use the the uh, bread wrapper. I can uh, paint them, and also. If I have to, I can add tiny little lead weights on the bottom to maybe lower the, the center of gravity to make it sink better. I'll, I'll, I'll play around with it some more. But this is the very first one. And I just thought I'd give you guys an, uh, a quick overview of, of how the crab is coming along. So, put new videos on every single week on Rob's Homemade Life. Got over a thousand videos. A bunch of different playlists. And uh, new stuff every single week. Hope you all come back and... I'll be having another lure, a continuing series of lures. Uh, I've even think about, have you ever seen a lure made from one of these? It's a, <laughs> if this doesn't look like something you can make a lure of, it looks like 
maybe put the legs and a little little mesh bag of of a uh, of uh, bait on the bottom and a hook right there. Hmm. I think I can make that into a lure. All right, guys, having fun. Come back, watch more. Take care. See you out there.